Hey, I'm Jeremy. Now I'm a composer, but I don't play any instruments and I've never had any formal classical training in music, at least not in any established music schools. So how is it I call myself a composer? Well, I write algorithms and those algorithms compose music. Yeah, that's right, I write a computer program and that computer program creates, generates a piece of music for me. Now, every time I run that program, I get a different piece of music. Now, this is called algorithmic composition, and this has been a fringe activity for many, many years. In fact, going back to Mozart rolling dice, called the musical dice, to decide what motifs and what themes to put next in his piece of music. Um, and more recently in academia, uh, computer scientists and electronic musicians have been using algorithmic composition to generate new and different pieces. But it's never really made it into the mainstream. Because until now, the music just hasn't really sounded that good, at least not to the majority of people out there on the street. But now with the advance of AI and algorithmic composition really coming into its own, these algorithms are now capable of creating music that sounds, well, musical. It sounds pretty good. Okay, so what's this got to do with you? Well, if you're a musician or a creative or somebody who creates music uh, as a hobby or a pastime, you'll know it's important to keep coming up with fresh ideas and new things to keep moving your, your passion, your art forward, all right? But creativity is not just like a tap. You can't just turn it on and off when you feel like it. Sometimes it just doesn't happen. So in that situation, what would it be like if uh, you had a system you could work with that could continually give you endless new ideas? New ideas that could stimulate your thoughts, your creativity in different ways that you didn't necessarily expect. It's not about, see algorithmic composition is not about creating a program that does away with humans and human creativity and you just press a button and it creates a new piece for people to listen to. No, it's not about that. It's about where can it take humans in their art? Where can it take humans in their creativity and composition? Where can it take music? Can it go forward into new styles that have never been heard of before? Yeah? So what I'd really like to ask you is you as a musician, what could you do with a system like that? Now for me, I know that when I run this program, for me, it creates, every time it creates music that is musically much better than anything I could do by myself. But I'm not naturally gifted at music. I never have been. I got into this as a kind of intellectual endeavor many, many years ago, almost 30 years ago now, and I've made it my passion ever since. But for you, being a musician, being a gifted composer, what could you do with a system like this that brought you endless ideas? Where could you take it? Could you go to new styles? Could you create new styles of music that never existed before? I thoroughly, I thoroughly implore you to check this out. This is a new technology that's not going away. Algorithmic composition is gonna be here for stay, to stay, and it's gonna change music. It's going to change music creativity and composition, whether we like it or not. I don't want you to get left behind. The product I'm working on is called Musotti. And if you click on the link somewhere around here on the video, you'll be able to find out more. Don't miss out. Check it out now. Thank you.